Well, after I just brutalized those horses and made several of them jump to their deaths. Oh, that's right, you're the horse murderer. Horse murderer. Yeah. yeah, but I have a new friend. You do? Uh, He's standing yeah. over to one side at the moment. Exactly. Here we go. Alright, character sheets up. Ahoy! Discord chat up. Ahoy! I'm so used to playing Warlock, I'm like, oh, I've only got two spells. Oh, no, wait, I've still got four spells left. Oh, because you're a wizard now. Yeah, yeah the wizard, Harry. That's well wizard, man. I'm a wizard, man. I'm just going to end the last combat. Wait. Oh, fuck, I'm in the north. Right, switching to the Empire. Whose idea was it to run two campaigns at the same time? Makes your brain melt. Oh, yeah, I need to switch my character. Yep, switch character. Okay! So... So, um, the quickest of quick recaps. Here you are on the edge of a cliff. Initiative Ooh. rolls. Everybody, make initiative rolls. Uh. I'm going to roll for Sebastian. I'm going to do. Sixteen. What if I can just do this? Would this be cunning? Not too bad, not too bad. Not too shabby at all. Right, I've made myself Seb for the day. <laughs> Fifteen. Rock on, I'm Seb! Dude. I right, I'm rolling my 2d20s. Oh! I got Look at that! That is beautiful. What that, is? That, the 20 I just rolled for the bad boys' initiative. Uh -huh. Oh, great. I got a 17 and a 14 though, boys. That's like basically two passes or something. Yeah, 17 yeah. and a 14. Yeah, that's good. Got fit and doing so I've screwed every bitch away every time. I got the well. Alright, guys, if you roll a 1 this time, I got you, maybe. No, no, no. We're still on the same day. You're still having to use the last rolls. Yeah. You, you haven't slept. Uh -huh. Fuck. <laughs> and you've used them both. They're gone. So, nice try. Oh, oh, that's, uh, that's very bad people. There we go. That's, that's a good description for bad people, doesn't it? Baddie. Yep. Baddy. Oh, and I'm first. Woohoo! Right here. Okay, let's start again. You're on a cliff. So, the session is. Last week, you basically went look, ch um, chasing after the wagons that had this strange drug or thing um, that seems to make people's eyes go red and fire starts sprouting everywhere. Basically, okay. it was on, on the request of uh, Chang'e to investigate why the uh, port bridge exploded and left a big hole in the bridge. And you know that Lei, aka Z, is a Ganashi waiting for you to get back so that you can then carry on to um, uh, Longbeak to go and uh, repay her debt so that you can get her on her back and for you to perform a full task. This is basically a side quest that's just kind of gone on a bit because you've had to go chasing after these wagons. And you've caught up with them. And you've already s stopped the first wagon by having a catastrophic failure and sending it over a cliff and killing a, a multitude of perfectly. horses. Um, worked yeah, perfectly. It was a catastrophe. There was so much animal death. The innocents that died yesterday, their, their bodies just floating in a river is just down below. Is worked just perfectly. Disgusting. And you know that up ahead, um, there's a house where you think they were stopping and two of these strange black um, knights came out and have started charging down towards you and as they do they're flaming up uh, arcane powers as they do um, which is a terrifying sight for hold to see armoured knights casting spells but there we go um, and we left it at the last session that the second wagon is catching up with you with one of these crazed people on top who's going <laughs> give, me some, give me some more arcane <laughs> I'm going to kill them all and you've got the riders just like galloping after you, bow at the ready, 
Um, Rain's ready to rain up because obviously he doesn't want to fall off the cliff. He's just seen his mate go down the end. Um, so you're now wedged between these two attacking parties. You're already exhausted because you've been battling through the day. Um, a lot of your powers have already been used up. Yeah, two dice have been used up. One slot. Yes. So that's where we sit. And now the battle continues. Right, hmm. so. That was right, so not okay, sir. I just want to qualify that for you. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, so. <laughs> No, no, that's too big. That's too big. Okay, on their go, these knights are going to stop where they stand. They've got their sword drawn, but they start holding up their left hand. And as they do, massive fire starts rippling from their hands and shoots out at you. <laughs> and they are going to attack. One, two, three. One, two, three. Six, one, two at the top. Two, Griff. So I'm just seeing which one they attack. So um, the one on the right, he starts firing these fire bolts at you. Um, <laughs> uh, first one makes an attack, fails miserably. Second one makes his attack, hits AC twenty three. AC twenty three. That hits you, your AC is 17. I was waiting for you to answer, Griff, but it's okay, I'll, I found no, it myself. So, so AC is 17, yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> the, fi the first fireball flies past you, you just kind of duck sideways, um, kind of looking at it and going, no. <laughs> but then as you do, the second fireball just smashes you in the chest and explodes out. Massive amount of damage. Oh, you can't survive. Um, four fire damage just explodes on your chest. Fire damage? Fire damage, yes. Fire damage on the track. You laugh at the fire. You just kind of like, let it go under your arm. Of course you are. Yeah, the um, fire does nothing. The two knights look at each other. Fire at him again. No, I won't. <laughs> that was wasted. Brilliant. Fantastic. Right. So the carriage now. Is... But, you know, try, try all your might, but I'm a dragon. The fire's not really going to bother me. Sorry. Okay. The rider of the wagon brings his horses to a stop. He realizes that a charge attack at this point will be crazy because basically he'll end up over a cliff because he saw what happened to the last one. So he pulls up now. He stops the carriage. The horse is like. As they come to a halt, he draws his bow, he, he aims it, and he fires. And he's going to aim at the owl flying in the sky who was coming down and taking out the other riders and killed the horse. <laughs> what? Was it my fault? Oh no, it's going for the owl. He pans, pans across to you as you're, as you're flying across. And he's like, nope, here. And he rolls the I three. Mean, the arrow just goes. <laughs> the um, the crazed, crazed, super weird crazed dude. He gets off of the horse and starts moving down. As he does, he then brings up another fire. But he's like, but you can see the difference here is these knight armored knights seem to have complete control of what they're doing. This guy, and they didn't seem to take any drugs either. They just basically just started moving towards you, sword drawn. And just started firing these fire bolts off at the fucking gold dragon like an idiot. Um, whereas this guy is like, <laughs> and he rolls a 19, and, and he's oh I didn't choose who he was aiming for. He's going to be aiming for one, two, three, four. Right, he's aiming to you, wizard, the gnome. You're standing there ready to cast your next spell, and you see this fire bolt come flying towards you. It absolutely hits. The three fire damage. It just explodes against you. But you can see that he's moving forward. He's got his sword out as well. Right, because it's a dodger. Or is that a fireball? It's a fireball. He's just made an attack roll. He rolled a 19. Three. 
<laughs> yeah. So, oh, and the knights, after after they cast their spells, one, two, they're moving forward as well. So basically, if these assailants are moving towards you, they're, they're just throwing these fire bolts. Um, and as they get closer and closer, you can see they're ready to go into melee, which is obviously their preferred choice. But they're just trying to soften you up a bit with the fire first. Making a note not to attack the rift first. Right. So that was on 22. Millhouse. Millhouse! What's it going to be? I am going to... Hold. For what? They've all had their go. Okay. You hold. I'm gonna know. I wanna see what other Okay, Percy! Gertie's ready for the fight. Oh. <laughs> Let's get a <him>, must! <laughs> she doesn't say that, but in your head she says that. In your yeah. pretend cartoon world that you sometimes find your mind drifting into. I don't wanna charge the knights. Or anything to do with them. I don't want there's not to much charge I... the knights. Well, we got to attack them at some point, or they're just gonna fireball us all to death. That's yeah. Uh. How about wait? Five. Ten. Leave them to me. Fire. And all take them. I can't eat. I can't reach evil in, in one move. Going for, start going for the guys at the back. You can with a charge. Yeah. The the horses. Yeah. yeah, I'm going to charge for the. Uh, crazed guy who just firebolted the wizard with Gertie, and I'm going to try and spear him as well with my trident. I think I have out yeah trident. Okay, you turn Gertie. Just yeah. right. Gertie, yeah. charge! Loving the lifelike animation. I mean, this is Studio GP animated. Little Gertie slams into this crazed, drug addict, sword wielding nutter. Oh, I didn't do his wild magic. Oh. Ah, okay. Uh, target takes. 2, 1d4, bludgeoning damage. To target a creature, it must succeed on a DC 10 strength saving throw and it will be knocked down prone as well, and I'm going to attack with the trident. Okay, so uh, Gertie slams her horns into him. <coughs> he, what was the DC for the strength save? Uh, 10. Doesn't make it. <laughs> it will be not slams up. At the same time, your trident. Uh, it does 11 to hit, 5 damage. What was your attack for the Gertie? Uh, I haven't actually done two. Okay, so he takes back his strength check because you haven't attacked him yet. <laughs> I thought you'd made a successful attack. I just looked at the Discord and I'm like, well, that. Oh, yeah. Don't forget your advantage with, with your trident. If you're on a charge attack. Oh, yeah, okay. Let me boy. just roll 1d20. So, uh, five again. <laughs> so, it does what not. Okay, the trident misses. Um, yeah. Uh, what about roll... Gertie? 1d4. You haven't done oh. the attack for Gertie. I, the Gertie doesn't have an attack. Gertie doesn't have a D&D beyond sheet, does it? And it's a 1d4. It's no, she um, does. She does. I gave you the sheet. If she, yeah, if but... she's going to attack, she has to make an attack roll. Oh, okay. Right, well... Would you like me to look it up? Hold on. If you haven't got it... So, I'll... Gertie okay. hits for... 11. Them oh. dice rolls are confusing. You're a 5, a 1, a 2, and an 11. I'm ignoring the D4s because you haven't rolled the attack. Yeah. The first D20 was the second attack for Percy oh, attacking with the trident in a charge. Yes. He failed again. Um, right. 
next I was waiting for a D20 roll. I was letting him just play yeah. with his D4s. Yeah. Right. It's like a stress toy. Just keep filling those D4s. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Gertie thing is 11. Yeah, have you checked her attack roll? That is the attack. She's got plus uh, attack, has she? Attack is... I'm going blind. I think I am. Ugh. Here we go. Gertrude of the Bearers. Charge. Her attack is plus four to a hit. Oh, so it'd be 15 then. Then it hits. Okay. Then I do... Have you not got to... the counter sheet up? Yeah, I've just got it up now. Right. I'll just be keep being blind with it. Now I'll do two one d fours. First one is a three. Second one is a one. So four damage overall. Four bludgeoning damage. Right. Okay. He gets knocked off of his feet. Poof, his legs go flying in the air. I'm just going to keep this failed roll that I made. Um, he takes the four damage. Um, in fact, Gertrude's attack was so good that you mistimed your trident attack and where his head should have been, he basically, his legs were already up in the air and you're like, Gertie, I told you to wait until my trident goes <laughs> in first. Then you hit button with your head. Oh, Gertie. <clears throat> I didn't even need to use the voice changer for that one. But anyway. No. Um, yeah, so he goes flying, his legs in the air. Ah! He's just like sparking little flames. I need to get back up. I need to get back up. Um, yeah. uh, that's all for me. That's it. Okay, great. Good news. Poor assailant got foiled. They're the idiots who decided to attack me. Yes. Me with a bloody uh, what do you call it? Fireball. Well, you see, the uh, <laughs> the um had bad day. Missed, forgot that you are the uh, dragon. Uh, yes. Um, yeah. Before Grip does anything, I'm gonna do yeah. something because um, I won't, be, I won't be able to do it. I won't be able to do it when he charges in. So um, I'm gonna. Right. Look over my shoulder to see that you're gearing up to do something. Go. Yeah. Just in case I accidentally hit you, I'm gonna uh, stable swarm both of the dudes. What? Snowball Swarm. Snowball Swarm? No. What the heck is that? It's Snillock Snowball Swarm. I have not heard of that spell. He's been reading up his powers. That sounds exciting. Even... It's not that exciting. Uh... I throw a snowball at him. Where's this, <laughs> Where's this spell? <laughs> Suck another. Uh... A flurry of magic snowballs erupts from a point you choose within a range. Each creature in a five-foot radius sphere centered on that point must make a dexterity saving throw. A creature takes 3d6 cold damage on a fail save, or half as much on a successful one. This, this, is, this is like spell? Elf! This is like the, fire, uh, the snowball fight in Elf. Go for it, dude! There you go. Alright, you conjure snowballs in your hand, and you go, Snowball fight! Hey guys, snowball fight! Who's next? And you start... Like monkey magic stuff, snowballs flying everywhere. Um, they smack into oh, him. Oh look, Snollox! What the fuck spell is that from the E E? Well, thank you D and D Beyond for adding spells I've never heard of. Lovely, cold damage too, which they have no trouble. Oh. Well, I thought if there's anything they're, they're resistant to, it's probably fire. So. Could be. Um, first one fails the deck save, assuming your save is 14. Also, second one passes. Oh, never mind. Oh. So, so the top one succeed. Sorry, the top one fails on his deck save. The bottom one succeeds on his deck save. Roll your damage. If you cast a spell, not that D and D Beyond. Or, sorry, not that Discord will recognise. So uh, the top one takes 12, and the bottom one takes six. Okay. Um, yeah, you see that most of the snowballs just splatter against his armor. But one of the little ball snowballs just does a little cheeky splat into his his visor, 
He kind of like gets in his mouth and he's like off his nose. And he's like, what the? Oh, yeah. You can see he's like, he's trying to get the snow out of his I mouth. Took a, I took a piss on all the snow before I threw it. Oh, hello, snow. Hello, snow. Make a perception roll <laughs> when they say that. Oh, oh me? Okay, yeah, make a perception ground. roll. Uh, exclamations, uh, uh, C, perception. Oh, hello, Samurai. 16. Okay. Um, Seb makes a roll as well. Oh, he may, he is too. Okay, you you hear basically, and so here's the scene. They're not wearing Empire armor. They're wearing uh, Krishni armor. So it's much more rounded and flowy and it's like a domed head. Um, so they, they look like Krishni warriors, but when you heard them speak when they got hit over the snowballs, they spoke with an empire accent. They sounded like they were empire warriors in disguise, but wearing in, Krishni in armor. Krishni, yeah. yeah, their armor is kind of in a similar design to Percy's in many ways, different color, but yeah, similar in their kind of like domed head, um, kind of shelly um, armor. In, like it's quite rounded, rounded plates. Whereas you, you're in the Empire on loads of splint mail with all the splints and all the like, oh, you proper Empire armor. Um, but you, you've definitely heard a sort of twang of Empire. You think they tried to kind of cover it up as they were speaking, but you definitely heard it. You definitely heard it. They were speaking Can I ask about their armor? What yep. is the main? What is? The, I don't know their arm. I don't know their armor type. So their armor type's rounded. It's it's presumably better for uh, defensive uh, things to bounce off it because it's rounded and smoother. It, it's just a style. It's there's no mechanics bonus or difference. They're wearing half plate basically. These two. So the actual it's half plate. So it's a, it's not as strong as my armor, which is full plate. Isn't it? Um, it's know. stronger, but doesn't cover as much of the body. Whereas you've got right. you you'll cover more of the body, but your splint mail isn't quite as so this is quite expensive armor they're wearing. Chris you all blacked out like that, it's all very dramatic. Um but they they look like Krishni soldiers, uh knights even. But, but they don't sound like him. Anyway, so that was sorry, Millhouse, you do that, it exposes that. Griff, back to you. Oh, this is interesting. So, now it is your turn. Which one's further forward as I'm looking at it? It's one on the right, or are they both level? Have they moved at all? Uh, they're both the same, roughly. Well, the bottom one, I guess, tangentially is a bit, a bit nearer by a few millimetres. Who had, who got the god full of yellow piss? That's not... Well, they, they both did, but the top one took a proper mouthful. The bottom one well, was kind him of... First. The, the bottom one closed his mouth just in time, and it just went up his nose and across his eyes. I think I can make it. Can I make it towards that first, the one who got a gob full of? You can charge right in. Because it's, uh, five yeah, I'm going to charge right in on the one who actually took a mouthful of the yellow snow. Ah, no, you can't. It's 65 it's feet. That's my range, isn't it? It's yeah, just I'm trying to work it out. It's, it's smaller than my range. Oh, no, wait. What's your speed? Hold on. Uh, hang on. Hang on. Speed. Mate, yeah, check. your speed's 30. 30, yeah, uh, won't make it. You won't make it. No, you won't make it. No, it's just and two. And you've used your breath weapon, haven't you? In the last, in the last game, yeah. You, yeah, you used it in the water, which is the same day of where this battle is. This is like, yeah, last yeah. week, uh, week before, yeah. yeah. Okay, so, uh, okay, so all I can do is make a move towards them, take up a defensive position. Um, um, have I got a shield? Is it? No, it's, I haven't got a shield. I've just got. No, I don't need a shield. So. I'll, Draw my swords, take up a defensive position, and I'll move forward. How many? One, two, three, four. Let's move forward seven. Moving forward seven blocks. We well, can do six and something else. Um, okay, put them forward six then. Put them forward six, which puts me to about there, I think, according to my. Three, four, five, six. Yes. Um, Let me hunt the tree line as well. If they're gonna do any fire damage, I'd rather they hug the tree line and any damage goes into that tree line along the um, cliff edge. That's uh, um, cliff wall. So you wanna go kind of up there ish? Yeah, that's it, that's it. So you've got the you've got the trees or they shrubs and trees around. So you wanna you wanna try and draw them off a bit from the other players by Why? Up there. Why? Okay. 
yeah, I'll deal with them. They make them come to me, sort of thing that way. And then a noble do, strategy. And then um, I'll take I'll, I'll take a kneeling defensive position, sort of, but and I'll prepare myself. Sort of, yeah, I will prepare myself. I'll meditate if I must. Don't forget, you got superiority dice now as well. Ah, which you can use um, when you're attacking. I'll wait for the next turn. Then you can have one day. You can do it four times a day. Right. Okay. No. I'm not brushing your teeth. Brushing your teeth. Okay, Lily. Perkins neck. Lily, you've swung to the left as an arrow just flies past your head from this rider. The bowman seems intent on trying to take you down. Oh, that's good. Oh, could be. I mean, if you want to be hit by an arrow, then it's great. <laughs> uh, I was going to hit them back. Don't now thinking about the fact that they want to hit me, then I probably am going to just fly to the ground near the dragon. Okay. To get to the dragon, you'll have to forfeit any other move, which would be That's crazy. That's fine. What? Oh, would it? Yeah, you're going to forfeit an <laughs> attack. I... But... You're a long-range attacker. That is your awesomeness. You can... But I don't, can... don't want them to hit me. What? My <laughs> is they don't ever go in combat. <laughs> I'm not going to get involved in this combat because I might get hit. Ooh. Okay, can I... Okay, I won't... Right. I won't go to the dragon. Can I at least go to the ground? You can. And attack. What you could do is you could attack and then you could fly down below the cliff line so they can't see you and then you can fly back up, shoot them and fly back down again because you have the power of flight. The <laughs> earth does not bind you like it does the others. Gravity well, the other is not plan, your enemy. The, the other plan was to hide in one of the trees. Your plan yeah. is to hide. No, I was gonna like hide. <laughs> I was gonna like sit in the tree and shoot from there. But then you'd be more exposed. I mean, yeah, there's a tree swaying here in the wind. Um, you'd actually then... find it harder to attack because you'd have to basically be clinging onto yeah, this thing that's moving. Okay. We'll we'll do the attack now and then fly down the cliff. It's a highly recommended strategy because it basically okay, means I that. Okay, I will go. I will go with the highly recommended. <laughs> Because you can basically go, Woo! Attack! Woo! Woo! Attack! Woo! Woo! Attack! <laughs> uh, 24. Yeah, on who? Hit. Who are you hitting? Who are you attacking? Oh. Whoops, got that bit. The one who <laughs> shot the arrow at me. She fires an arrow into the air. I shall let fate decide where it lands. <laughs> <laughs> the arrow arcs up oh. into the air. The one who hit me. Uh, well, uh, oh, to. Simon, Sorry. outraged Sorry. by the attack, leaves the battle. I am leaving battle. I am returning to battle. I am back. Hi again. Hi. Um, hi again. Sorry, we've got problems with the internet at this end. Sorry. It is common problem during these lockdown times. I've had some atrocious internet problems lately. Okay, um, the okay. arrow lands anyway. smack on the shoulder of the rider on the carriage for Go, seven Lily. damage. She hasn't taken any damage yet, has he? Okay. The arrow Go, goes, Lily. the arrow goes feathered deep into him, and he's like, ah! He just curls up in pain. Ah, oh, God! This, this, this is really hurt him. Um, he's not, he's not that tough. This archer. I mean, you didn't get, didn't get to find out about the other one. I think he just flew over the cliff and died. Ah. Um, oh, there you one... go, buddy. That's what a good archer is. Learn the <laughs> trick. Okay, and then you can use your some of your 50 feet to just basically... You have to remember to leave enough next time so that you can go up, say, 30 feet do an attack and then down 20 feet so that you can pop back below again. And then they can't get you. They cannot get you. Unless they go on Overwatch waiting for you. So they get a reaction attack. 
Oh. But which anyone would do. <laughs> yeah. What if, what if when I pop up, I pop up at a different part of the club? Smoke and mirrors. Uh, Carry on. That could, I could do it. However, any <laughs> lateral movement will take up some more of your movement allowance. So you're going to have to basically just skim just below the cliff edge. So like, hello, hello, hello. It's called head glitch. <laughs> what? It's called head glitching. Yeah, head glitch. Yo, go point A. At B, clutch the game with a head glitch. Something. Anyway. Say so. Yeah, okay. Um, you dive back down just to the edge. You can move along a little bit. If you just take yourself below the edge of the cliff, you can do another, say, 10 feet in one of the directions. Which direction do you want to go? Um, to the right. A little bit. You go to the right. And that's Lily done. Hey, who wants to be inspired? He starts singing on his hurdy go. Anyone want to be inspired? He he puts it out there. Over it. Yeah. All right. He um. I could do some inspiring meditation music. Okay, he um He tries to do some inspiring mezzi. One, two, three, four I'm the Rock is my friend You won't slay the enemy until it's the end Yeah, you feel really inspired now. That 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 fucking rocked! You're like, yeah! Wow! Waiting for the solo! You go in there, you get your D6 inspiration. He um does that as bonus action, and then he moves forward, ready for attacking. I shall move forward, ready for attacking. One, two, three, four, five, six. He <laughs> comes up near you, just parallel and twenty feet below you, or to the side of you. Right, back to my dudes. The um, the knights, sword ready. Throw out their um, fire bolts. This time they aim both of them at Seb. And then they charge using the fire bolts. A bonus action. Wow. Where are they getting their shit from, yo? 18. 20. Fuck. Jess, I'm sorry. <laughs> These two fire bolts are. He's like. He doesn't have an AC of like 10. Yeah. So I mean, you only have to roll like a what, an 8? <laughs> oh dear. One, five. Jesus, shit, roll oh, six. Okay, he takes 10 damage. Oh, he's on eight hit points. He goes down. Oh. He goes like, hang in again. Oh yeah. <laughs> and he just basically flies backwards flames scouting from his chest and just slumps unconscious on the ground little flickers of light starting to catch onto his hurdy-gurdy <gasps> not his music not his instrument not his instrument and the flames like, ripple around this dude attacking you Percy Yes. He gets back up. Mm -hmm. ah! And he basically just starts slamming you with his sword. Oh, dear. Ugh, I'm so angry. 17 plus 5. AC 22. Yeah, that hits. I've got 19. Okay. Now. One. We've rolled so many ones for damage. Um, but. <laughs> oh. But. Um, as he's attacking you with his short sword, you notice the flames that just seem to be a light inside of him course down the blade. And as the blade hits you, 
the, the fire kind of leaps into the wound. So you take um, uh, you take two piercing damage, and then you take okay. another four fire damage as a damage as the blade pierces your side. And you're like, ah, oh, that really hurts. And then the fly kind of leaps up. <laughs> you're glad the others went over the edge of the cliff. You wouldn't have had to deal with this. So I take six damage. Okay. Yeah. I still got ten HP left. Oh, oh you, you you're gonna yeah. rock this shit. Um, the bowman looks around for another person to attack. Sees the gnome, aims for the gnome, fires at the gnome, hits the gnome. Rolls an eighteen. It's gonna hit. Uh, all right, nineteen, eighteen. Just hit me as much as you want. All right. <laughs> okay. He hits you for four damage. The arrow, you see it flying towards you. Your intelligence working out its trajectory, its parabolic motion. You start thinking about the friction in the air, the forces at play. You're just so fascinated by this amazing display of fifth. It hits you in the chest. It hurts quite a bit. The arrow is almost as long as you are. And then I pull it out, look the archer dead in the eye, and lick the blood off it. You know, oh. Hey, hey! I didn't say anything. I don't need to do anything in an accent. Yummy, yummy! Love yeah, my to... bloody! Okay. Um, everyone looks a bit weird at you. Can I roll an intimidation on him? You can try and roll an intimidation on your go. That was gay. Gay. Gary Gay. Gary and his gay game of Garyness. Um, badly people have had their go. For the ones here. Oh, it's Millhouse anyway. Yes, make your intimidation roll. I shall let you do it as a bonus action, but then you don't have another bonus action you can use. That's your only bonus action. Sorry. Intimidate away. Oh, I'm really intimidating. <laughs> hey, hey! Here's my blood! You lick the blood and you're like, oh, <laughs> It's really horrible. Ah, oh, I don't like that. Uh, why did I do that? You, you get flustered by the stupidity of your own action. Sorry, sorry. No you worries. need to redeem yourself. You're gonna pick up another uh, fireball. Have you got enough second level spells left? You've got loads of spells left. Don't you worry. I'm gonna cast mirror image because I don't want to get hit again. <laughs> okay, you cast mirror, mirror image. Your image, another version of you appears. Uh, three versions of me appear. Then another version of you appears. And then another. Why am I not? Sorry, let me cast it in chat. Oh, fuck's sake, Gary. Look at the right character. <laughs> oh, it doesn't bother you. Uh... You don't have enough spell slots left, apparently. The bard right, has you. second level spells, but he hasn't chosen any second level spells. I've got what? The bard has oh, second the bard. level spells, but hasn't chosen any. Uh, how do I do that? How do I choose the spells? Am I? Am I choose the spells? Or is he just going to be stuck with me pretending? There you go, now there's four meal houses. I'm gonna start like I'm gonna go up and start shaking all of their hands. Hi! It's nice to meet you. Oh my god, it's nice to meet you too. Oh, what's your name? My name's Millhouse. No, no way, my name's Millhouse. Okay, four millhouses appear. <laughs> and you see this just Oh, I'm getting a delay. There we go. Yeah, you see this um just cacophony of strange Hi, I'm Millhouse. Hi, I'm Millhouse. Hi, hi, I'm Millsa. I'm Millhouse. Hi, 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 I'm Millhouse. Hi, Millhouse. Millhouse, hi. Hi, Millhouse. Millhouse. Hi, Millhouse. Hi, hi, hi. Hey, it's really annoying. Am I annoying? Can you get your love me yet? Get your me yet? I'm Millhouse. I'm Millhouse. I'm Millhouse. God. Exactly. What am I doing, boss? What am I doing, boss? All right, okay, so one of them charges forward. Hi, hi! One of them, two of them go over here. Hey, hey! 
This one goes over. Hey, hey, I'm a house. Hi, hi, hi. And this one just goes out, starts charging over here towards the rider. Hey, hey, how you doing? Is that what you said? You said they're going to go off and handshake the other one. No, no, I'm handshaking me. Oh, no, they're going to go fucking handshake with the bad guys. I thought they were like, oh, hey, hey, hi, hi, hi. <laughs> no, I thought you were no, doing some no, weird no, tactic. No, oh, bring it all back. I'm Come back. I'm circle handshaking myself. Okay, you, yeah, you start no, handshaking no, yourself. No, and, yeah, it's some a sort of... tactic. It makes them not understand which one's which. Yeah, they go around in a circle. You shake each other's hand. No one knows which one's you. It's all very. They start doing ring ring and roses. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's exactly the thing I was going for. Ring a ring, ring a rose. It's pocket full of full of poses. Tissue tissue, we all fall down. Ring a ring of roses. It's pocket full of poses. Tissue tissue, tissue, we all fall down. Yay! I hope it turns out those knights have fireball. Hey! <laughs> 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 Okay, you're doing anything else in your turn, Mill House? That's my bonus action and my action, so I assume not. Okay. Okay, the Mill... Uh, the, 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 the Mill House, the Mill High, the Mill House High, the Mill House is... The Mill Hive. The Mill High. The Mill House... The Mill House Hive. Anyway, we... We descend into chaos. Thank you for that spell. First of all, with the light! You can hear yeah. a cacophony behind you. Just mill houses, just talking to themselves. Loads of the mill houses, it's all a bit weird. Some sort of bad trip. I mean, there's too many mill houses there, by the way. There's five left. There's only meant to be four. Yeah. Next one appears. Hey, you didn't cast me, but I felt lonely. Okay. <laughs> Welcome. Hi. Uh, I am going to. Oh. Hi. Okay, yeah, this is your stream. Uh, I'm going to stab the guy in front of me with the trident. Well, that's very aggressive. He's in front of me and he just... <laughs> <laughs> oh, take my approach. Have you considered more peaceful actions? Maybe you should start like a kumbaya. You should nah, start going... Nah, I'm not all about those ring, ar ring around a rose. Crap. I just yep. try to stab. You're Harry Christie. By the light bearer, I shall defeat you for the good of all. You seem to have forgotten your voice today. Yeah. You're just, just like, yeah. I'm just gonna like hit him with my trident. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna like totally hit him with my trident. Then I'm gonna like hit him with my trident. Yeah. And then I'm probably gonna hit him with my trident. <laughs> that, yeah. By the light bearer, I shall strike you down with my holy wrath. We. Make your attack roll. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. I'll do. I'll do all your voices for you. Uh, it's fine. Excuse me. I just didn't talk. Why would uh, I talk on that? Okay. Oh, oh hi, tree. Hi, hi, Millhouse. Hey, Millhouse. Hey, I hey, there, Millhouse. I created dialogue, but with myself. Uh, in your, uh, would it be a two-handed trident attack or just one-handed? Um, you can do it two-handed. Because you are yeah. mounted combating and you are doing like a special thing. Ooh. 24 to hit and then 12 damage. Okay, damn, dude, you're almost doing my damage. Your trident smacks into his chest. Ah! Um, you see the strange flames leap up the blade into you. Ooh. Like some form of hellish rebuke. Make a dexterity save. Oh. Maybe it oh. doesn't have a match. Uh. Match with Hellish Review? No, it's just something similar. 